Did you know there are about 800 species of sandflies and 64 of them can carry leishmaniasis? This is what a sandfly looks like. But of course, that's a hundred times natural size. I'm Bob Killick Kendrick. I'm a specialist in leishmaniasis. And I'm your host for this ninth episode of What's Biting My Dog? Canine leishmaniasis is a terrible, often fatal disease of dogs in many parts of the world. It's caused by a microscopic parasite called Leishmania infantum. And until today, there's no medicine that can cure a dog with Leishmania completely. The parasite is transmitted by the bite of a small two-winged fly, the sandfly. They're the only insects proven to transmit Leishmaniasis. These flies are small, only two and a half to three millimeters long, and unlike mosquitoes, they're silent. Because of this, they often go unnoticed. But they're easily recognized because they're hairy, they hold their wings above their body, and when they're on a host, they typically hop around until they settle down to bite. Both sexes feed on sugars found in nature, but females also need a blood meal to develop eggs. When a female emerges from the pupa or chrysalis, she's not infected. First, she has to bite an animal with leishmaniasis. At a later feed, she will deposit parasites in the skin of another animal and thus infected. Sandflies get their name from the color of several common species, not because they live in sandy beaches. In fact, they don't live there at all. They are most often found in forests, in rodent holes in deserts, in rural habitats in general, and in habitations generally with poor hygiene. They're most active at sunset, but continue to look for blood meals throughout the night when the weather is suitably warm and humid. Around the Mediterranean, sandflies hibernate throughout the winter as larvae until March or April when the first adult flies are seen. Peak numbers are in the hottest months of the year, after which the numbers start to fall steadily as autumn approaches. Sandflies usually bite their victims outside, but you can also find them inside when they follow the scent of a host in search of a blood meal. And don't forget, your dog can be bitten by up to 700 times in a single night if he sleeps outside. If you want to reduce the risk of your dog being bitten, don't go for walks at sunset, and don't let him sleep outside. But why not use an antiparasitic product that will protect your dog from almost all the sandfly bites? That's the best way to look after your pets. <laughs> 